In this video, I'm going to show you how to annotate images in CSI Pix. These are the annotations you can place on images. Dots, circles, freehand. The FR stat arrow can be used to mark up fingerprint latents and knowns so that you can run those images through the FR stat software that was developed by the US Department of Defense. With arrows and straight lines, you can place a label at the end of the line. With straight lines, you can also show the length of the line. The core, round core, delta, ridge ending, and bifurcation symbols are all for friction ridge images. You can insert logos in images, and you can add magnified views to the images. Before I start the demo, I want to mention what some of the less obvious functions do. Hide annotations just temporarily hides the annotations from view so you can see what's behind. Um, an important note is that by pressing the mouse roller button on the top of your mouse, you can also do the same thing. So if you're ever in annotate mode and you hit that button by mistake, you're going to see all your annotations disappear. You might think there's something wrong, but just press the roller button again and everything will come back. The Save Options button will save all the pen options that you have for each of the different annotations at that time. The Erase Minutia option will only delete ridge endings and bifurcations. Undo last draw will only remove annotations of the currently selected type. The add a border option places a white border around the image as a percent of the image width. I find that 40% is actually usually pretty good to give you enough space for labels and things. So just click apply twice or manually set this to 40%. There are keyboard shortcuts when you're in annotate mode and these can really help to speed up your work. I'm just showing this so that you know that they're there. You can get these from the manual too. So here I have two images open. I've cropped them and now to start with annotations I'll add a border around each one. So like I just said I usually apply about 40 percent sometimes more to each side and then you can zoom out and position these in a pretty nice spot to draw. You just put it in draw mode. Uh, edit mode means you can go around and select different annotations and change their options. Pan mode is so that you can pan around the image without selecting or moving objects by mistake. So if you want to draw, put it in draw mode. Select the thing that you want to draw. So a dot looks like that. Circle. Freehand. With text, you click at the top left corner of the text you want to show up, you type it, you can do multiple lines. Magnified views, you put your mouse on the object that you want to show in more detail, press down on the left mouse button and drag out to the side and then let it go. A core symbol looks like this, a delta looks like this. An arrow is kind of like the magnified view. You click on the thing you want to point at, drag it to the side, then this box will pop up and you need to type in the text that you want at the end of the arrow. So if you were just going to number them, you'd put in the number and click OK. Straight line looks almost the same as the arrow. Pull it to the side. Add a label and click OK. If you don't want a label, just click OK without typing anything. Ridge ending looks like this. Bifurcation like this. You drag it in the direction you want the tail to go in. With agency logo, you click it and then you click on your image where you want the logo to show up. And then you have to select a small bitmap or JPEG. And then you can place it in. The FR stat arrow looks like this. And the round core symbol looks like this. To go and edit any of these, you put it in edit mode. As you travel around the image, when you see a yellow box around something, that means it's selected. You double click the left mouse button and it opens up the edit box. So now you can change the color the size, um, the opacity, 100, 
and then when you're happy with the settings you click apply. If you have multiples of a certain object, so I'll put in a number of dots, so I'll select one of these dots and I'll change the color to green. If I want all the dots to show up green I just select this or I can just do one at a time and the same thing applies to size and opacity. To edit the magnified views you can just grab one end or the other and you can pull it to where you want it to go. If I want this to show another part of the image I can move this end point around so you don't have to have it exactly positioned the first time you can tweak it. If I want to change the size of this circle just double click and you can increase it or decrease it and you can change the zoom factor if you want to zoom in even more you can do that. So I'll undo all the annotations for now and I'll show you how quickly it is to add a number of magnified views to an image. Some people like to bring in the magnified views so that they are right next to each other. It's a good way to show detail. So you can update the zoom factor and the circle size. They're all going to be the same after you click apply. To delete a single annotation you just select it and right click and then you can delete right here or another way to delete that's quicker is just to use your keyboard delete key. You can move annotations as well so you can zoom in when they're selected and you get this four pointed arrow that means you can move something around and you can just select an endpoint if you want to do that too. I think I've covered just about everything. So thank you for watching and if you have any comments or questions um, don't hesitate to contact us.